I took berberine and it just didn't work for me. This is something I hear very frequently from patients. Berberine is so popular now because it is considered nature's ozempic. It stimulates the same pathway as Ozempic does, stimulating that GLP-1 pathway. This is gonna help balance insulin levels, balance blood sugars, is promoting fat loss, all of these great things. But there can be side effects and it's not tolerated by everyone. Berberine should help with balancing blood sugars. It is a component found in different herbs. It is a bitter alkaloid that is found in different herbs and that is a chemical compound and it naturally actually has other effects on the body too. It's antimicrobial, meaning it can defeat bad bacteria. It's anti-diarrheal and it's anti-inflammatory. So if you've tried berberine and you haven't seen success, there's a few reasons why. And number one, it could actually just be a really bad quality product. That's the first thing to think about. There's a lot of fillers and artificial junk in products nowadays. I don't know if you bought it from Amazon or from some random supplement store online. There's a lot of bad products out there. So I su suggest you purchase it from a physician directly, from a natural doctor, or from like fullscript.com, somewhere where you know you're getting good quality stuff. The next thing is that you could have a disruption in your microbiome, and that's the number one contributor to how well you absorb the absorbable form of berberine, okay? Remember, there's good and bad bacteria within your gut, and this plays a major role in how you break down berberine, or any food for that matter, into its more absorbable form, okay? So, when they studied the effects of berberine on animals, they found that if they gave antibiotics beforehand, it actually reduced the effectiveness of berberine. The biggest variable in berberine not working for you is if you have an unhealthy microbiome or not, which is so interesting. So if you had a recent very stressful event, if all you've eaten is processed foods and high sugar diet or a super high fat diet with sugar, if you've been on antibiotics recently, or if you're taking a handful slew of prescription drugs, all of these things are going to substantially change the microbiome, the composition of good versus bad bacteria within your gut. And maybe berberine isn't being tolerated as well for you. Another common side effect would be constipation. Is it because Berberine is naturally an anti-diarrheal product by nature, so it could push you too far into the constipation zone. So what I suggest for you, if you've tried it, hasn't worked out, A, maybe you just need a better form of it if you got it from not the best source. But if it is a good source that you trust, then I would suggest that you do a month of prebiotics build up your gut a little bit. So this is something like fermentable foods, vegetables, and products like 2-fructo-oligosaccharide, which is going to be food for the bugs in your gut. All of these things can actually change your microbiome in addition to getting a bit more sleep. And you might be able to tolerate berberine a little bit better the next time around that you try it. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Sweets. Remember, life is sweet enough. You don't need to add all this sugar on top of it.